This time I have the roller blade RV80 and it's a bigger brother minus a frame, uh, the roller blade RV110. This is the 2018 one in yellow. Uh, and these 20, these, I think the RV110s came out in about 2017. Comes with Supreme 85A wheels, so 110 millimeter Supreme 85A wheels. Uh, and a uh, roll blade, three wheel drive, over in front. Um, the bird make an appearance because he's in some videos, he's just had a shower, so he's all wet. Uh, but he's gonna dry off and sit back here. Come on. Good boy. Alright, um, back to the review. So, uh, why I've got these, why I've got both. So, I bought the RB110. Uh, great skate. It's the good old, perfect all-rounder, good urban city skate. Great light plastic boot with um, lots of cuttings for ventilation. Uh, they have a removable liner. And they're exactly, the boot on the one the 110s and the 80s, they're identical. They're just different colours. Um, I'll take the laces out again because it's such a hard boot that laces don't actually do the boot up. And you're going to slice through them anyway with this um, 45 degree buckle here, which seems to cut through the laces and the liner, unfortunately. Not a big thing, but it's just over time, but that's the wear and tear you're going to expect. Um, the removable liner, really comfy. Um, easy comes out, easy to come out and throw it in the wash, it's great. Uh, I did have, have to make a slight modification in mine, so I have trimmed the edges of the tongue. Just because I found that as that when they went into the boot, they sort of went back too far and were cutting the sides of my ankles. So I just took it to a, a upholsterer, got him to trim a couple of like five millimeters off the edge of each side and stitch it back up. And now it's fine. I don't get that um, cutting on my um, ankle bones anymore. Uh, they have an inner sole with a little bit of spongy stuff in it. But more importantly, and really this is what's important for urban, urban stuff anyway, is you have this sort of, you can see the white tab there. Inside the heel, there's a really nice shock absorber. It's sort of about four or five millimeters of rubber, and it does absorb a lot of the bumps. So I, I, I did point out the, um, the rivets before, sorry, the bolts before, versus the rivets on the newer stuff. Uh, these bolts are a pain in the ass, <laughs> and apparently that's been an issue for a while. You're constantly losing them. They constantly unwind themselves, and I had to buy plenty of spares. Um, I've tried Loctite. Uh, you know, as soon as I lost the first one, every one from that point on, I put Loctite on, and I always check the tension after every ride. They still seem to unwind themselves. It's just, it's not the end of the world, but it's it is a little annoying after every skate. You have to put an Allen key in and just check that the bolt isn't coming off. Um, yeah, I assume that's why they went to a rivet instead. Yeah, pretty simple boot, not a lot to it. I like the way that the cuff actually moves backwards and forwards, and not like um, the Sabre highlights I reviewed in another video or the new um, Flying Eagle Drifts, um, Drift Carbons, the, the cuff just doesn't move. Um, I don't, uh, or it does it move backwards, but it doesn't move forward. Roll away on the other hand, to stop it from going backwards with this hinge, uh, this little lip here, and allow more forward movement, or enough forward movement, which is good. These are taking a couple of spills, uh, and they're fine. That's what the good thing about plastic is, it just, yeah, you get a few scratches, but it doesn't, doesn't uh, destroy your boot. It's a 165 millimeter mounting, which gives you the option for quite a few different frames. In my case, I put flying eagle frames on it, because the buckles seem pretty solid. Uh, I don't think, they're going to break too easily. I think they last quite a while. They're riveted together. There's no, you do have a screw holding that 45 degree buckle and, but the one on the top, they're riveted, but the um, roll blade spares are pretty easy to come by to so break the buckle. But they should get you through quite a few years before that sort of stuff starts to happen. Yeah, so I bought the 110s, um, love them. Uh, they're the main sort of everyday urban skate uh, or just what I would use if I'm not working on just training for distance. If I just want to go for a casual skate, that's what I use. Um, I bought the 
80s as a spare basically because it's a lot cheaper than 110 and it's identical short of the wheels and frame which I just sell off anyway because I don't use 4x80 I use 3x110 or 3x125 yeah uh, so this is a US 14 but it still seems to have a fairly tapered toe to it so I do get a little bit of pressure on the uh, inside uh, the little toe unfortunately it'd be nice if they had a wider front yeah cheapskate good skate um, pretty bomb proof um, you can dress it up get a better frame on it or a longer frame or a shorter frame or a different frame uh, I'm sure if uh, the liner goes you'll be able to get some sort of other aftermarket liner to put in it on that the 45 degree not the black hole itself but the actual the plastic tab that goes under the buckle on the 45 degree on here it's got uh, really sharp edges and I've taken the laces out um, because it doesn't really pull the boot together but I have seen on other videos where people have snapped their laces because basically the edge is cut through the lace because I'm not running laces um, I'm seeing <laughs> show up very well but basically there's that 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 here is starting to slice from that 45 degree buckle it won't slice I don't think it'll ever slice completely through the boot liner um, but it has taken the top layer off which is the mesh and now you can see the rubber material under that and I think it'll stop at the, at the rubber material the sides and the toes uh, ventilate really nicely. Um, I do notice it compared to using other skates. So I skated on my Flying Eagles, my Sievers. Um, this breathes really well. You can actually feel the, the air, you know, on your feet, which I really like, especially in Australia because trying to skate when it's 40 degrees Celsius, um, you notice that sort of stuff. That's about it. It's um, yeah, it's a pretty simple, straightforward skate. It's a cheap alternative uh, if you want to get into skating. If you want to do 80. Um, in fact, you pretty much, if you want to get into skating, um, I'd start with this, start with the A, and then when you're confident, switch out your frame and your wheels to a 3x110 or a 3x125 even, being a 165 mil mount between the two bolts. Um, that's just plenty of options. Uh, on that, I, so my Flying Eagle 3x110 mil uh, supersonic frame that I bought for this. It's a 165 and 180mm mounting, but I just don't understand why this happens, but... So, basically, if I try and put any frame on this with 165mm mounting, I have to take a metal file and file the holes in the frame to be bigger, because this is not a true 165mm distance. Uh, I thought maybe I got a dud, maybe it was just this first line of RB110s, but then I checked it on the RB80 and it was identical. Um, it's like 166 millimeters or 167 millimeters. Uh, just painful that you have to take a metal file and file away a little bit of um, fudge on your metal frame, especially if you've. Uh, I had some really nice speed skating uh, Stanley Seagull frames and I had to file them down just to put them on, just because I wanted to try a 3x125 frame but with extra length to it as opposed to the Flying Eagle Urban 3 x one twenty five mm frame. Uh, yeah, relatively light compared to like I had a Seba Highlight. I think this for some reason feels lighter even though it's hard plastic versus material. Um, yeah, if you have questions hit me up, hit up uh, write a comment, I'll respond as soon as I can. Thank you.